We're now going to look at how to create a flow line map. And I have here the make believe island again, and there are several other countries surrounding it. And what we're going to look at now is the flow of persons from those different countries into make believe island. So firstly, we're going to need a map title. I've already placed in a compass and a scale. So I've given my map a title, Migration of Persons into Make Believe Island. And for a map like this that involves the movement of persons, it's good to use a flow line map. I'm also going to need to then look at the data that I've been given. From the various countries, countries A to F, there's hundreds of persons, except in country E where there's over a thousand. There's hundreds of persons migrating into the make-believe island from the different countries, ranging from 215 upward to 1216. So I'll have to then determine a suitable scale to use or a suitable value to use for the flow arrows, along with the size of the arrows. So I've decided that what I'll do, I'll use a one millimeter arrow to represent 250 persons, the movement of 250 persons. So let's start with country A, where there was a movement of 658 persons. In that case, I will have to use a two millimeter arrow. From country B, there were 491 persons. So I'll have to use the one millimeter line for that. From country C, there was a migration of 215 persons. So we'll use the one millimeter line for that. From country D, there was a migration of 744 persons, which is slightly less than 750. So I'll have to use the two millimeter line. From country E, there was 1,216 persons, and that's less than 1,250. It's between 1,000 and 1,250, so I'll have to use the four millimeter line from country E. And finally, from country F, there was 547 persons who migrated, and that is between the value 500 and 750. So I'll have to use the two millimeter line from country F. And that's how I would show a simple flow line map.